Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have empties for you. I was gonna wait probably till the end of the month, but it's just it's just filling up too fast, so which is a good thing. Um, let's go over my wax melt empties first, and then as you can see in the corner over here, I have quite a bit of candles to go over, but I will do those at the end for those who don't um, want to see the candle empties. I did not organize this by vendor, so it is just a grab and go style. Let's start with Zape in Caramel Apples. This was Sweet Candied Apples in Creamy Caramel. This was so strong. I think when I originally put it in, I said it was throwing out a four out of five. This ended up throwing a five out of five. Like it was so strong. It took over my entire house. It was super sweet and exactly what it says, caramel apples. It was delicious. I would reorder. Zape performs so well in my home. Highly recommend. Um, I really like her scoopables. I know that sometimes people can be weird about the texture, but I think that the scoopables also perform great. So if you're looking for a vendor that you haven't tried before that I've had really great luck in my home with, um, I really enjoy Zape. At the same time I was melting that, I also melted Vintage Road candles, Raid the Fridge, and this was Caramel Mac Apples, Cornbread, and Fried Ice Cream. This one was delicious. I definitely got this like warmer, like more cornbready kind of like bakery note in the background not specifically cornbread fried ice cream but definitely kind of had like more of a depth to it but they both just went so well together this performed great for me um I do want to eventually order more from vintage road candles not right now because I have a budget but yeah I definitely enjoyed that vendor Next I have, oh, this one was so delicious. Um, this one was pumpkin apple streusel, pralines and cream, vanilla wafers, pie crust from L3 in a four-pack fluted tart. I'm so sorry if I get your name wrong. I think her name is Christy. She is a new admin for L3, and she created this blend. And oh my gosh, it was so delicious. It was definitely had like an apple forward kind of like fruity note, but as it mellowed down, it just became the most delicious like brown sugar, like bakery scent with like a tiny, tiny bit of spice in the background, not much. It was phenomenal, highly recommend um, you purchase this one if you are looking for a scent like that. It was really, really yummy. Okay, another pleasant surprise for me. This is Fright Night from Zave, and I've got this in a mystery bag last year, and I don't know why I just hadn't melted it yet, and this is Sweet Pumpkin Buttercream Nutmeg and Cinnamon. When I opened this up to try to decide what I was going to melt for the day, I was like, oh my gosh, hold the phone. This is identical to Toasted Pumpkin Spice that I have been dying over, drooling over from K-Scented Melts, who is trying to get the oil in so she can pour it. This is that same oil, and I was so, so happy and elated when I opened the bag. I was like, oh my gosh, this is my baby. Like, this is like, oh, it's just so good. I posted it on the Zape Facebook group, and of course, there were so many other people who were just like, I've been raving about this scent. It's so good. Like, it's just delicious, and I can't believe, like, I just found this scent. So, highly recommend. It is delicious um i think she did offer it for the fall but i just i didn't know and i think it's sold out now i melted this scent from l3 yesterday it was in a little leaf shape this is cinnamon sugar pie crust espresso i just love her espresso it does not smell like astringent like to me it smells so smooth and silky almost like a drip coffee um it's just, yeah, that's the best way I can describe it. It's like a very silky coffee, and it smells like coffee. It doesn't smell like caramel. It doesn't smell like popcorn. It doesn't smell like, you know, anything else. And then mixed with that cinnamon sugar, which I love, is so good. And then the pie crust just gave it a little extra, like, bakery twist. It was delicious, and it threw at about, I would say, a four out of five. It was really yummy, and it lasted quite some time in my home, too. I had half a souffle left from Britta's in Night and Terror Tower. I put this in the bedroom. The scent notes on this are Palo Santo, Blackberry, Tobacco, and Bay. Wow. This is so beautiful. You guys, this is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely fruity, but masculine, but not too masculine. It is just so gorgeous. It's crisp. It's like, it just made the air feel cool. 
That's the best way I can describe it. It was beautiful. It lasted forever um, and it threw amazing. It wasn't like a five out of five. I would say like a four and a half out of five strong enough that I like its presence was coming out of the bedroom, but not too strong to give you a headache. It was lovely and I highly recommend and I would repurchase that one. Okay, this one's in my warmers now. This is um, Cupcakes at Tiffany's from that Smell Good shop. I love this scent. My friend Michelle sent this to me, and I'm so grateful because I love having it by itself, like in a single oil. This is vanilla cupcake, buttercream, and a hint of chocolate. It is throwing phenomenally, phenomenally a four out of five in my house. It smells so good. I just have to use one cube in a warmer to get amazing throw. It's so good. I would repurchase. That's delicious. Scary Sweet from Rainbow Melts. This is candy corn, brown sugar, praline pound cake. This one was good. It wasn't my favorite scent, but it definitely was like a really good sugary bakery and it did perform well. I put this one in my bedroom and it threw it about three and a half out of five. So it was really good and it went well with what else I was warming in the house. I try to either put the entire scent throughout my house now or intermingle scents that are very closely related in like scent profile. I used to put like very drastically different scents throughout my house, but because my house is so small, um, like it just didn't really work, you know, and I keep the doors open. So it's just better if I can try and find scents that are just more alike. This is Woof Wooks in Hill House. This is spicy apple butter praline pound cake. This definitely had like a spicy like bakery kind of scent. It was nice. I don't know if it's a repurchase for me. The praline pound cake in this one and in this one, I just, they're not my favorite bakery scent, but it was really lovely. And I just, this label is just absolutely gorgeous. So happy to have finished that one there. That one was from like a couple years ago, I think. I have Bewitched from the Melted Mousse. This was a little bit of a souffle that I had left in, left in pink sugar, lavender, chamomile, and peppermint. This one was soft and just beautiful. It was like a little whisper of the lavender, chamomile, peppermint. The pink sugar was a little bit there, but it was mostly like a very soft, calming, like peppermint lavender chamomile and I want to say that the lavender wasn't super strong the chamomile I felt like really held a presence um, in this blend so that was that was really good and I would repurchase that scent okay this one was so so good from Woof Wicks uh, I would I would repurchase more of this one this one is cozy coven marshmallow fireside and pie crust and oh it was absolutely delicious, sweet, so sweet, and so like smoky and just heavenly. It doesn't smell like you're burning something in the oven. It just smells like the most delicious, I don't know, like smoky sweet scent. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> it smells so good. Um, love this one. It was amazing and I would repurchase. Okay, I have apple pie a la mode from Vintage Road Candles. I don't remember this scent. Yeah, I don't remember this scent, unfortunately. I did put it in the bedroom with something else, so I'm not sure if that scent just overtook that one. That was just a sample. Apple cider donut from Souls Inspiration. Warm apple cider, cinnamon sugar, and fried dough. This was a lovely scent. It threw it about a three out of five for me. Um, really good. The only thing with Souls is that I get a really like great throw the first couple hours and then it kind of dies down kind of quickly. Um, but this was a really good apple cider scent. I have pumpkin seed wax and bath coat in Cupid's Cupcake, vanilla waffle cone, caramelized pralines, and sweet pink sugar. I love that caramelized pralines note. That is one of my all-time favorites. That's different from the praline pound cake. Caramelized pralines is just so sweet and like buttery brown sugar deliciousness. It's just wonderful. Um, I used the rest of this in the bedroom and it performed better in there. So I did like it. It was a, just a really great vanilla, sweet brown sugar bakery kind of scent. This one was really good from Salt Mountain Melts. I enjoyed it. It was Cine Twist, cinnamon sugar, nutmeg, twisted pretzel, bakery dough. It was super yummy. I would repurchase this. It threw it about a three and a half out of five, kind of on the softer side, but it was really yummy. I love all cinnamon sugar bakery scents, and that one was definitely a win in my book. 
Um, if you're looking for a great pumpkin peanut brittle scent, pumpkin head from Woof Wicks was delicious. It was so strong and just, oh, it smells like peanut, like roasted peanuts and like caramelized salted sugar and just deliciousness. I really enjoyed this and I would pick this up again if I was shopping with Woof Wicks. Okay, we have a sample that I don't remember in Iceberry Tea from Super Tarts. I think I put that in the bathroom. Um, I put this sample in French Baked Bread Honey Butter Rolls from L3. I put that next to the couch and I couldn't smell it. Buttermint Birthday Cake. This one was really strong. Not a repurchase for me, but I can see a lot of people really loving this scent if you're in love with buttermint. Um, I like buttermint, but I like it mixed more with like a heavy peppermint. Um, but this one was so strong and it lasted a really long time in the bedroom. So there's that. I am. I think I did these two at the same time from Rainbow Melts. Bullicious, which is salted caramel pecan pie waffle cone. And then I did Monster Munch, Munch which was caramel corn toasted marshmallow salty pretzel. A really delicious combination of just like salty, sweet, good stuff. Rainbow Melts performs amazing in my house. Um, yeah, it's, it's always performing super well. And those were definitely some really good scents. One I was surprised with, with um, my wax empties, was this one from Lurid. Um, this is Monster Mash. I got this last year. This is Cider Lane type Halloween candies and cotton candy. It was a very soft scent. Um, usually Cider Lane is very prominent, very loud, um, takes over the whole house. This was very quiet. Um, it smelled good, but it performed quite weak in for a uh, Lourdes Apothecary scent. Um, I enjoyed it, but I mean, you can't purchase that again anyways because she's out of business. Um, pistachio ice cream from Silky Soaps. I believe my, did my friend give this one to me? I'm pretty sure Michelle did. Um, and this was a, a really nice, soft, creamy pistachio. Didn't really lean cherry. It performed like a three out of five in my bedroom. Um, so that one was really nice to try. And I'm not sure if I would repurchase that one though. Oh gosh, this one was so strong and so delicious. This is from Wicked Essence in It Was All Just a Dream. And it's lavender, gold sugar, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. There's just something about lavender and cupcakes at Tiffany's together. This was delicious. Oh my gosh, I just, it's just such a great combination. Um, the gold sugar was probably like the the lightest scent in here, the cupcakes at Tiffany probably being the strongest, but I still really like this as a bedtime scent. So I would repurchase that one. Okay, I readjusted you guys so you can see a little bit better. I have Pumpkin Carvings Hay Mac Apple from L3. This was in a Bitty Betty Loaf that I got last year. My friend Danny from Danny Divinations, if you guys used to follow her on Instagram, she's no longer active, but she created this blend. So it's called Roll in the Hay, if you see it listed like on a restock or something. This one was incredible. The hay was very light in this scent, which was nice because I love her pumpkin carving scent and the mac apple. Gosh, it was so strong. This is a five out of five. It threw forever in my house. Like it, it threw like for two days. It was insane. Um so so good pumpkin carvings is not spicy it's like a fleshy pumpkin but i almost get this like fresh pear scent from it too it's wonderful i highly recommend that scent if you're into like fresh fruity scents it was not like there's no hint of bakery or spice or anything like that in there Woofwicks and cider candy corn pie crust wafers i did not get a throw from this one it was just like one little paw and like a piece left in there and i just i didn't get a throw this was a nice creamy um, pumpkin scent from Ava's Country Cupboard in Vanilla Pumpkin Milkshake. Probably wouldn't repurchase this again though because it wasn't anything like that I need to have. It was, it was nice to try. I think it had like a little bit of spice, but it wasn't like super spicy or anything. Okay, one that I would repurchase from Woof Wicks is this pumpkin donut shop. These are her crumble cups. I'm pretty sure that's what they were called. This is Baked Spicy Pumpkin Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can open this and smell it. Oh. 
Oh, it was so good. The cinnamon sugar donuts definitely was the strongest note for me. It was amazing, and it always threw like a four out of five, and this is like a couple years old, I'm pretty sure, at this point. Um, it was amazing, and I absolutely, absolutely loved it and recommend it. This one was delicious. I melted this from L3 in buttermilk pie. Today is October 3rd. And today's October 3rd is Palo Santo Toasted Marshmallow Sugar Cookie Royale, and Buttermilk Pie is Vanilla Custard Sugar Cookie Creme Brulee Pie Crust. A delicious combination. Um, I, everybody loves today's October 3rd. The Palo Santo is just like really sweetened up. It's very tolerable for anybody who is on the fence with Palo Santo. And the Buttermilk Pie is just like, it's super sweet, delicious vanilla bakery scent. Um, I love it, so... That was that one. I would repurchase that. This one did not perform well. This was Birdie's Making Sense in Doh My God. I honestly didn't expect much from it though anyways because the first time I had melted a piece of it, it was kind of a strange scent. Um, sugared apple sugar cookie dough, which sounds amazing, but it always smelled very perfumey to me. And then when I melted this, this last time, I didn't get a scent from it. She has recently changed her... Um, wax formula though, but I, upon saying that, this one from Birdies in Hazelnut Coffee Marshmallow Fluff performed amazing, and it's like the, it's the same exact pour date as that one, so <laughs> I don't know, but this scent performed great for me. I put it in the same exact warmers that I put that one in, so I don't know what's going on there, but this Hazelnut Coffee Marshmallow Fluff, it was, it was really yummy. It was delicious, so probably not a repurchase because I like her Cafe Cubano more. But yeah, it performed well. This is one of my all-time favorite scents from L3, and I still have several fluted um, tarts of this in White Woods Vanilla Satin. Oh my gosh, this is just dreamy, silky, vanilla, with like a hint of woods. And White Woods, if you've ever smelled it before, it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like a like oak tree or like a pine tree or it doesn't smell like a traditional woody scent. It is just so beautiful, creamy, silky, vanilla. It's so good. I love this scent to death. White Woods Vanilla Satin. Yeah, I definitely would repurchase more if she puts some up on the site. I think she has plain White Woods available in her next pre-order though if you want to try it. I think it's going to be in her... Um, her word bars that she does for like the holiday time. Wicked Essence Se Season of the Witch, citrus, mac apple, cinnamon, cloves, and sugared vanilla. I'm pretty sure this smelled like leaves to me and it was really, really strong. Um, so if you like leaves or something along like a sister to leaves, this one was definitely really strong. I don't think she, she didn't do that scent this year though. Um, this was a very interesting scent. I think I got this in the Round Robin. This was Cadaver from The Pharmacist's Daughter. It's s'mores, marshmallow fireside, seagrass and sand dunes, and boom boom type. Now, I don't think I like seagrass and sand dunes. I think I've had that oil from another vendor and I did not like it. It's very strange. I liked all the other scent notes together. So I really thought I was going to like this, but it was just weird. It was weird. I just couldn't make sense of it in my head. It just didn't really go well together for me. So unfortunately, it was a pass for me. I will not purchase that. Um, but it did perform really well. The Pharmacist's Daughter has been one of my top favorite vendors. Um, she's definitely in my top three right now of my favorite vendors to purchase from. So yeah, her wax is just, it's just been phenomenal for me. Um, this scent was so, so good. This is Destination Wax Vanilla Anise, and it is the Vanilla Anise Joe Malone type, which smells like violet vanilla orchid lightly spiced with wild fennel and star anise. It was, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful, different type of vanilla scent. I don't think this scent would be for everybody, but if you want something elevated and more niche and kind of smells like expensive... This one's definitely for you. This smelled beautiful, and I just recently got this, didn't I? No, I didn't. Um, this is from June of last year, apparently. <laughs> I think I wanted to get more, and that's why I thought it was recent. Okay. We are trucking through this. I have Apple Delight from Rainbow Melts through Amazing, Apple Cider Donuts, Baked Apple Pie, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It was, it was amazing. Um... 
Oh, I loved this scent. This was so good from that Smell Good shop. It was a shot cup of cashmere woods, frosted pine cones, and lavender vanilla. I highly recommend you check out that Smell Good shop if you haven't before. She has her little six pack bags that are like super cheap. Her shipping is like $2.99, but if you spend $30, it's like free shipping. You only need one cube in a warmer. It's just, it always performs super well. Candy Cane Crush from Sassy Girl Aroma. This one performed pretty well. It's just a little sample that I put in the bedroom. It definitely smells like candy canes, iconic candy cane scent. Um, I might repurchase that. Just depends, I guess. I have plenty of mint scents, though. I don't need to repurchase that. Um, so I have a sample of Beach Nights Pink Sands Barbershop 1920s. This was like a little fish sample and this one was amazing I put this in a hot plate warmer in um, the bathroom and it came all the way out into the living room it was insane um, it threw so well I didn't know if I was gonna like this because of the pink sands but I actually did enjoy that so if I saw that blend I might actually pick it up in a small size okay this one was incredibly strong. Also put, all these next ones were all in a hot plate warmer. Um, Satsumas and Linen from Teddy Bees in a sample Satsuma Mandarins, Bergamot, Exotic Fruits, and Fresh Linen. This one could have gone for seriously probably four or five days. It was so strong. It smells like orange juice, but mixed with like a cleaner. It was, it really reminded me of something that maybe somebody, isn't there like some type of like orange cleaner and my boyfriend would totally know what I'm talking about that's what it smells like to me he used to use this like orange stuff I think it's like is it to get grease off or something I know that sounds so strange but it smells so good okay next I have a praline pretzel dough from Ava's country cupboard I thought I was gonna love this one this one was super strong four out of five it threw amazing it was just a little sample um, it ended up smelling like popcorn to me though not sure why, but um, it did throw really well if you enjoy those types of scents. This one was super strong from Woof Wicks in Wrinkled Stinkles. It was a really, really nice laundry scent. It smelled like hot laundry to me, like fresh out of the dryer. Um, zombie Snacks from Woof Wicks. This one smelled really good. Um, trying to remember what the scent notes on this were. I don't know if caramel apple was one of them. It didn't really smell like apple. It smelled more like a pumpkin, or no, um, like a waffle scent or something like that. Um, I have booberry mallow fluff from L3. The booberry in here, um, I think is like a cereal scent. I was just talking to my friend Michelle about this, and it definitely leans like candy. Like, it doesn't smell like cereal to me. It smells like a candied blueberry. Super, super strong. This scent is not for me, so I would not repurchase it, but if you like the that type of scent, then you would probably enjoy that. Um, this scent from Birdie's Making Sense in This Two Shell Pasta. It was like raviolis with like a red meat sauce on it. It was so cute. In Macintosh Apple Marshmallow Fluff. When I first got this, it performed super well. So, so strong. Like such a strong Mac Apple scent. But the last piece I had in here didn't perform well in my warmer. So it could have just been that I waited too long to melt the last bit of it. But this last one from Birdie's Making Sense was amazing. It rosemary mint with a hint of coconut milk. It was like a sample cube thing that she sent me, like a bubble cube, I think it was. This was so pretty. I just, I loved this scent. It performed great. It was a four out of five. Traveled out of the bedroom, out of the bathroom, down the hallway. It was really, really good. So I would repurchase that scent. Okay, that is all for my wax melt empties. Stay tuned if you want to hear me talk about candles. I'm going to go through them quite quickly, so I'm not going to stay on them for long. The first candle I have to talk about is Strawberry Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. Yes, it looks kind of dingy on the bottom because I end up putting this in my candle crock. This is Fresh Strawberries Golden Shortcake Whipped Cream with Essential Oils. Can't smell anything, but this is, yeah. It's, it's a really creamy, wonderful strawberry pound cake scent um it's a good bakery i like that strawberry pound cake isn't like super super heavy strawberry like it's not like in your face it's very mild with that like golden kind of like cake kind of scent so i enjoyed that village candle in raspberry rose tea it says raspberry herbs tea and musk i enjoyed this when i was burning it and um 
I decided I will probably won't burn it again, so I put it in the candle crock and I didn't get a throw off of it. So, not sure what's going on with that. Okay, I finished cinnamon sugar marshmallow from Homeworks. This is fluffy marshmallow, sweet cinnamon, sparkling sugar, and white cocoa. Usually I am all over um, cinnamon sugar scents, but this to me is not my scent. I had a second backup of this and I gave it to my mom the other day so she could enjoy it. Um, this smelled just kind of slightly wrong to me. Like it smelled kind of like fruity. I don't know if that was from the Maybe it's from the white cocoa or something. It had this like fruity note. So it just, it didn't read cinnamon sugar to me. So kind of a disappointment. It performed great though. It was a nice clean burn all the way down. Um, it was wonderful. One of my favorite scents from Homeworks and um, I think this is the first scent I ever purchased from Homeworks. Not this specific candle, I don't think, but um, Vanilla Bean Macaron. This is Vanilla Bean Whipped Vanilla Brown Sugar and Amber. Oh, it is so beautiful. Um, this smells also kind of fruity to me, but in a good way. So I don't know what it is, but this is, it's, it's so, so pretty, and I highly recommend Vanilla Bean Macaron. Um, here, I'll show you the inside. It burned phenomenal. All the way down just to the very last bit it probably could have kept going honestly but there was just no point at, you know after it's like pretty much gone okay this is a highlight of um, the past few weeks this is amazing this is toasted vanilla pumpkin from homeworks I found this at TJ Maxx and it was the only one I ever found and I'm so sad because I'm in love with it um, this is vanilla cream, spiced pumpkin, cardamom, and tonka bean. And I know I've been talking about that spiced pumpkin or toasted pumpkin spice scent oil. That's what this smelled like, <laughs> but so, so good. It could have been like a slightly different variation of it, but that's exactly what it reminded me of. It was amazing. It threw so well. It was it was just everything that I want in a fall scent. Performed great. The wicks were great. It didn't dance around. It didn't soot. And it was just a super clean burn. She was beautiful. I'm so sad that she's leaving. Um, next I have banana maple pancakes. Um, this one performed well. There's a little bit of like stuff on the side. Could have been from me though. Uh, but yeah, she performed great. Um, the throw on this one was not as strong as I wanted it to be. I think I still have two backups, though, so I'm going to try it again from a fresh burn. Um, the scent notes on this are fluffy pancakes, mashed bananas, melted butter, and maple drizzle. So definitely a yummy scent. It smells so good. Um, I'm just hoping that I'll get a better throw this time around because, I don't know, maybe it was just not the right time of year when I burned it and now I have hurricanes that will fit the homeworks candles which is really nice because I feel like they are performing super well in there okay and last candle I just recently pulled this one out of the crock it's from village candle and it's buttery caramel spiced pumpkin this has been living in this candle crock which is right here um, I never once smelled this candle I mean it's been in there for so long now Never once did I walk by and could I smell this scent. Super big disappointment for me. So I don't think I'll be buying any more Village Candles. Or at least I won't be buying any to put in the candle crock. Because that was just a, a really big waste. I feel like I get a small amount of throw when I burn them. Maybe like a one or two out of five. Probably just not worth my money though for future purchases. So alright guys. Super long video. Thank you so much for hanging on. Thank you for joining me and going over what wax that I've melted, that I've repurchased, that I love. Um, it was a really great couple weeks of melting. I loved everything. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week, and we will talk again soon. All right, bye.